Car. The true story. The Murray-Darling Basin is the main waterway that carp were introduced to, and it has been reported that the long and expansive river system has experienced reduction in water quality, riverbank damage, and possibly even algae blooms, all due to the introduction of carp. Before the introduction of carp, it was a healthy, thriving ecosystem. However, through a mix of carp and now human interference, it has been degraded almost to the point of no return. Carp uproot and disturb submerged vegetation while searching for insect larvae to eat. Carp can reduce water clarity and stir up sediments which contain algae blooms. They cause water to become murky and unclean to, for other animals to drink from and they are responsible for destroying marine ecosystems and therefore the surrounding ecosystems. We can see that carp largely feed on plants and organic matter. Normally this would not be a problem, however the fact that they have no predators has a huge impact on the food web. Carp churn up the sediment and wreak havoc on waterways, eating vegetation and therefore depleting the natural populations, which goes up in the food web to affect everything. Carp are only really killed by natural causes, by humans, or as babies by Murray Cod. So since they have no real major predators, it is very easy for them to overrun waterways, basically taking the bottom level of the food chain out and affecting other fish populations. If carp are not culled from our waterways, this destruction will continue until most, if not all, natural species will be eliminated. It is in consideration to infect carp around Australia with herpes to kill them. They hope that the disease will spread throughout carp populations and however there are concerns affecting this, including other species. In the past, explosives, poisons, traps and electrical currents have been used to get rid of carp. With hard work, carp can be eliminated from our waterways. However, they are very hardy fish, so fisheries have to come up with innovative methods of getting rid of them. 